Hey, what's up, G? Uh, hope you're doing good, bro. Uh, let me know what's up with you, man. Um, I want to fit in like 48 hours with you sometime in the next six to seven days. Uh, just calling to see if that is a possibility with your, you know, your work schedule. So, um, yeah, of course, you know, I'd be, you know, coming down not to make you travel, but uh, not unless you wanted to. If you want to get out of town, let me know. We can work, we can work that out too. But um, you know, otherwise, I'll come out your way, and uh, we can shoot, uh, you know, and edit, and you know, I just want to update the uh, the scout tape a little bit because I'm I'm going I'm going hard right now, man. I got some fucking connections right now that I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be pursuing very hard. So uh, just wanted to get the uh, the freshened up scout tape to to go with that. So hit me up when you get a chance, bro. It's importante. I'll see you then. close friends, we all have like an idea of how realistic this is. How realistic is this? Like, like tell me, like start out, just, just tell, just talk about what, what it is you're trying to do. What is it, what is it, what is it you're trying to do here? I know exactly what it is, you don't have to tell me. I know exactly what it is. Okay. Alright, so what, you're, you're filming? I'm filming, I'm on. Okay. Yes, perhaps one of us will be famous. Now, in this case, this is, this is my idea of something I feel like is, is, is attainable and a, an accomplishment in the sport of basketball. Now, originally I had thought about going into coaching. Yes, I am still pursuing coaching. This is this is a path to least resistance towards coaching because we all know that, that what former players become coaches. It's For much, sure. much more common to become a coach, much, much more common if you have played. No, as a player, as a player, first and foremost. Now I've gotten myself as an interview with the New Jersey Nets general management to talk about what it is I could bring to the franchise. And obviously at this point, this is still a very, very long shot. Got him on the phone, got an appointment. He's going to talk to me about uh, what it is I could bring to the team. I hope, I hope that's what he talks to me about. I don't know. We uh, talked about the state of the Nets and what you know how many players that have in the roster right now and and the fact of the matter is what i feel is if i'm like more of a a defensive type of player when they have much more offensive type of players already on the team and could they benefit from not only a defensive player on their team but somebody that has a uh a mentality that, that brings breeds defense also being from new jersey you know, will be a little bit more of a value to the franchise as far as bringing the fans in. It is a publicity stunt to a point, you know, but it could work. Basically, what I'm saying to the camera is I feel like I would be a better general manager, a better coach, and in, in some cases, a better player. So how do, I, how do I convey that to them? How do I not offend them? To rely on them? I don't know. I really have to show them 
or may have, you know. I want to play because I have not gotten the chance to really experience my athletic abilities at its highest height. I haven't been able to have the time or the, you know, the guidance per se to work out the way I can work out, to play the way I can play, and to perform at the highest level. I don't want to be there. And by the way, I'm going to prank the shit out of both of you as soon as we get there. Your day is coming. Your fucking day is coming, I promise you that. Yeah, just... There you go. All right. No, no. All right, so go ahead. So what are we talking about here, guys? Um, you guys know what I'm, you guys know what the plan is here? We're doing some dishes, man. We're doing some dishes. Let's find out. Pops, pops, pops. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Fuck you, man! <laughs> Fucking knew you were doing some shit to me! Fucking set up here to be fucking bullshit. I'm not doing any of these fucking dishes now. Now you're doing it. He's in charge of the dishes now. Right. What is wrong with you, man? Alright, your day is coming. I promise you. 110% your day is coming. Alright? So, when your day comes, I'm looking forward to it. And along the way, until we get to that point, when your day comes, which it is, I think they're going to have a lot of questions. Uh, you know, uh, do I just, how do I justify it to my family? You know, I've said it to my brother. You know, I've said it to my father. Uh, my brother is extremely doubtful at this point. He thinks I should just be looking for a job at the front office. My father is more supportive. The fans, the fans, I think the fans will absolutely embrace this concept. I think, you know, NBA is, 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 is lacking something at this point, to be honest. Uh, I think the fans will appreciate somebody that they, got, they can identify with. I mean, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a giant like these other guys. And, uh, you know, I uh, have a, a very fast game that I play, but I think a lot of people can, you know, they can at least relate to that. Obviously, I can't dunk a basketball. More of the percentage of our society can't dunk a basketball. So they will appreciate something that's going to play the game, as they say, below the rim. You know, and maximize, you know, his, 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 his impact on the game from below the rim. You know, so I think people are really going to be engaged by that. It's, it's, it's an intriguing thing to watch somebody have to maneuver and have to manipulate the sport from, from, from a different angle. What I think I, bring, I will bring to the sport is that mm, a lot of players that are NBA caliber are, are, are made to score the basketball, and that's the only way they know how to affect the outcome of a basketball game, when in truth there are nine or ten different ways to affect the outcome of a basketball game, and I specialize in, in probably six or seven of them. Scoring is, is not on that list. I don't specialize in scoring even though I can score a basketball. I can shoot, but that's not what I'm out there to do. I'm out there to make other players better. I'm out there to make the game easier for these guys to be a complimentary player. Because when you're when you're on a court with one ball, you know, and, 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 and five guys on your team, you know, guys need to touch the basketball, you know, and, and feel like they're a part of everything. So what I'm out there to do is facilitate. Looking at the next roster as it stands today, I would be the only, the oldest player by one year, maybe even six months. I was born in 1979. I have been contacting this organization since last year. Um, they had not returned my phone calls until today. This season, I had actually, you know, left a few messages, uh, and I had spoken with somebody named Matt Tellum with the basketball or uh, operations office last week. Just last Friday, I called them again, and I left a message for their assistant general manager, since they did make a trade, that they had made a trade for an offensive player, and I called them and I said, I think you could use a defensive player, which I am. First and foremost, I think that successful basketball starts on the defensive side. And so I have made every, I've made every indication, you know, I've made it clear that my goal, my intentions are to be a basketball player for the New Jersey Nets before the season's end. Uh, and uh, to do that would mean that, you know, I would play for the New Jersey Nets, which is where I'm from, and uh, it would be a dream come true to play for that franchise. Now, you know, my family being from Brooklyn, 
you know, it's not such a stretch that, you know, next year I wouldn't feel too bad playing for the Brooklyn Nets. But, um, you know, I'll always remember the New Jersey Nets as long as have a place in my, my basketball heart. If you ask me the question, can you play in the NBA, Keith? My answer is yes. 100% yes. They won't see me coming. I'll be like a mouse to, to their cat. You know, they're going to be afraid of me. They're going to be afraid of me. Afraid of what? Afraid of me taking the ball out of their hands on national television. Afraid of me running the other way with it. Afraid, afraid of me doing anything to show them up. Because they're about the show. And I'm not. I'm about the game. I'm not saying every player is about the show. I'm just saying that I feel as if there would be an actual sort of a, an intimidation factor from, some, from a reverse psychology standpoint. That they'd be like, oh my god, I'm not letting this little white player take the ball from me. And maybe be a little bashful when, when I came to guard them. You know, because I can guard them. Muggsy Bogus was 5'3". How tall are you? 5'9", with basketball shoes on. Are you nervous? We only just begun. No, Can I get you a little nut tickle before Stop, you Stop, don't patronize me. Would you like to put your nuts in the jar and marinate your little marinara balls? Oh, you made a little arrangement. <laughs> yeah, okay. But no, like, make sure you put it back like Absolutely. Yeah, okay. I see. I'm just trying to get gays in the military. I'm trying to get to loosen up. Oh, man. If you ask me the question, can you play in the NBA, Keith? My answer is yes. He's getting some respect from the weirdo. <laughs> yeah, that's great defense. That's great defense, yo. Oh, that's great defense, yo. Look at this stupid ass tank top. These guys are like tired, man. He's, he got like a shit game. He always does this, comes here fucking mad late. <laughs> <laughs>